In order for us to successfully evaluate this dot and cross product, what it might be useful to do first is to figure out what three multiplied by vector C is equal to, and then also two multiplied by vector A. So we're going to take care of those two quantities first. So we have set those two calculations up right here. You'll notice for three multiplied by vector C, you're literally just taking the number three and multiplying it, well, by vector C in this unit vector notation. And of course, to do that, what this means is you're just going to distribute the three to both terms of that vector. So here we go, we would have 21 i hat and then minus 24 j hat. So that would be equivalent to the quantity three times vector c. And then for two times vector a, we will just multiply two by the unit vector representation of vector a. So we'll just distribute the two through and this will give us four i hat plus six j hat minus eight k hat. So these aren't any of our final answers, of course, but we're gonna need these two quantities in order to proceed. Now we go back to the original problem and it looks like what we have to do is take the vector quantity 2a, which we just determined right here, and then do a cross product with vector b, which we so far haven't touched. So this is vector b right here. Let's show us how to set up a cross product because sometimes this is the most confusing part of these types of vector questions. So let's take a look. Now for references sake, we have rewritten the quantity two times vector a and the original vector b up here at the top of the screen. And then beneath that, we have written a sort of template for computing a cross product. Now, don't be intimidated. When you do a cross product, what you're going to do is take your first vector, which is two times vector a, and you're just simply going to fill in the x, y, and z components of that particular vector. Now, if we look up at the vector two a, we have the x, y, and z components listed right here. So for example, in this position right here for the x component, we're just gonna fill in the number four. And then similarly for the y component of two vector a, it's going to have a value of six. And then finally for the z component of that vector, we can see that it's equal to negative eight. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the XYZ components of vector B. We can see that they are negative three, uh, four, and two respectively. So we'll just fill those into this little chart accordingly. So that's what you wanna do first when you're doing a cross product. And then the next thing you wanna do is kind of move down below here and you're going to have this sort of template as I like to call it. Now you'll notice there's three slots, if you will, for this template. Between the first and second slot, we're always going to have a minus sign and between the second and third slot, we're gonna have a plus sign. And to fill these slots in, you're gonna do what we call a determinant and here's how this works. You can see that the first slot has the i hat, the unit vector, which indicates the x direction. And what you're gonna do is go to your little chart here and because you're working with the i hat, perhaps unexpectedly, you're going to actually kind of ignore the column that has i hat in it. And that would leave behind just these two columns. Now to fill in this little gap right here, you're going to compute the determinant. And that is simply a, a cross multiplication procedure. So for example, you're going to cross multiply this way, six times two. And then you're going to cross multiply the other way, four times negative eight. And then between those two quantities, you're going to have a minus sign always. Now, if you simplify this, you would have 12 minus negative 32, which of course becomes 12 plus 32, which is 44. So all that work just to fill in the number 44 into this first little slot right here. 44, just like that. So that's how you fill in the i hat direction. We will next do the j hat. And since you're working at the j hat, what you'll do is cross off the column that has the j hat in it. And then what is left behind, you will compute the determinant. So here, if you cross multiply, you're gonna have four times two, which of course is eight. And then you're gonna have negative three times negative eight, which is 24. And then subtract those two. Eight minus 24 is negative 16. Be careful here, you'll have a negative 16, but because of the built-in minus sign right here, the minus sign that we just computed will combine to actually form a plus sign. So just be cautious there. You're gonna go back and actually change this to a plus sign. Finally, we have to fill in the slot that is represented by k hat. So we'll 
cross off the column that contains k hat, and then we'll cross multiply with what is left behind. So four times four is 16, negative three times six is negative 18. You'll subtract those, which changes it to 16 plus 18, which is gonna give us 34. So we can go back and fill this in as a 34, and that would be how you do the cross product between 2a and b, those vectors. So in other words, the cross product 2a and b is equal to 44 i hat plus 16 j hat plus 34 k hat. We're getting there, but there's still one more thing that needs to be done. If you go back to the beginning, we had to take that cross product and then dot it with 3c. Now, luckily we've already come up with 3c. We did that earlier. So let's copy and paste this down below. So we're gonna write 3c is equal to, and then we have this work from, again, before. And what we're gonna to need to do is a dot product. So recall that we're doing 3c dot the quantity two times vector A crossed with vector B. Now what we'll do is, is write these two vectors sort of next to each other. So for 3c, you're going to have 21 i hat minus 24 j hat, and then dot with the quantity two vector A times vector B, which we just determined earlier. So that was the 44 i hat plus 16 j hat plus 34 k hat. Now, be a little bit careful here because this vector right here is missing the k component, if you will, or the z component. So we might wanna actually rewrite this. It would be 21 i hat minus 24 j hat plus zero k hat. And then we're gonna dot this with the other vector. Now a dot product luckily is much easier to compute than a cross product. Here's how it works. Basically, you're just gonna multiply the x components together you're going to multiply the y components together, and then you're also gonna be multiplying the z components together, and between each computation, you'll put a plus sign. So for example, for the x components, you'll have 21 times 44. For the y components, you'll have negative 24 times 16, and then for the z components, it's zero times 34, and as noted, you just put plus signs between them. So now you just pick up your calculator and you do 21 times 44, which is 924 plus, well, negative 24 times 16 is negative 384. And then over here, we're just gonna have zero. And then to finish this off, 924 plus negative 384 gives us 540. And that would be the correct answer to the question.